Hello everyone, this is Jair and in this video I'm going to show you how to change the password of your Thunderhub app of uh, Umbrel in the Umbrel node, the Umbrel Lightning node for a more secure password. Basically, as you see in the screen, we're going to have we're going to follow five steps. Uh, first, we're going to secure shell into the Umbrel node. Uh, I will demonstrate how to find the files that we that we need to change uh, the password um, at, and uh, we are going to edit the file, change the password, we'll save the changes, and then we'll test to see if the default password still works. The default password is the one that is insecure because everybody knows this. What is the password, or is at least it's very easy to find on in Google, and. After that, we will need to, after we change the password, we'll need to verify by uninstalling the application of Thunderhub, reinstalling it, and then testing to see if the default password works. If the default password doesn't work, that verify that the new password that we change works on the application and it's more secure. So let's get to it. First, uh, I will log into my Umbrel, Umbrel node and the Umbrel node is located in this IP address 192.168.0.1.1 and we will get a prompt here and I will log in so uh, this, at this point uh, this is a brand new node and I have no balances here but the Bitcoin core is already synchronized 100%. And you can see that I have an, an upgrade available for 0 0.4.7. This is out of the scope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the apps. Uh, sorry, to the apps. Uh, yeah, if we go to the apps, you can see that we don't have any apps here. There's no applications installed. So I'm going to install the application called Thunderhub. And this application is used for opening channels, closing channels, managing uh, and rebalancing your channels uh, with other peers. So we just click on it and we click install. And notice that the, it tells us that there is a default password, money printer go burr. And this is the password that is not very secure because it's, it's default and the application doesn't let you easily change this password. I already reached out to the developer and he advised that we can change the password following these steps. And that's why I'm creating this video for the people that are not very familiar with Linux or with uh, Umbrel uh, command line. That way uh, you can understand how to do it easily. In the, so it's taking a few seconds here and uh, you can see that now it switched from installing to starting so it should be starting the application soon and uh, when while it's doing that I will start a terminal and in this terminal we're going to connect to our Umbrel device and basically we will SSH to it um, and the way I will do it is uh, let me, this is the local terminal on my machine, so I will open actually a remote terminal on one of my PCs in, in, my, in my office and drag it here and I will SSH to the Umbrel remote system with IP address 11 and uh, I already have key authentication enabled which basically is more secure and it doesn't ask me for password all the time and uh, here what we'll do is we're going to move to the directory where Umbrel is installed. In this case I call it Bitcoin. And then we'll go to the apps directory. And then here we will look for the application Thunderhub, which is right here. And we switch to that with the cd command. And then we do ls again to list the the files and directories and we go we we select uh, we change directories to the data directory 
and we do ls again and we can see the file here and uh, remember as I was showing before that is the file that we're going to edit so now what we're going to do is we are going to edit that file and we're going to change the default password if we type cat and the name of the file we can see in clear text that the password is here this is the master password and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call nano with the administrative uh, rights of sudo and the name of the file and I will need to enter my administrator password and what we see is the nano editor open and uh, all you need to do is move with your arrow keys you can move to the password and then change it there I will change it to something simple for the just to, for simplicity of the video I will call it thunder hub one two three four five thunder hub one two three four five and then we select the control and the letter O for writing the changes control and the letter O we get the prompt here file name to write we just press enter and the changes are written now we select control X and we're out of the editor uh, if we do again if we repeat the command cat and the name of the file we can see that the password is changed to thunder hub one two three four five now what we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, test we're going to test if we can access thunder hub application using the money printer go per password this this time it should work because the change is not taken until we uninstall and reinstall the application but i want to demonstrate that so let's copy the password here and i will click on open so we can go to the thunderhub application and here we click login we click on password and we paste our password the default password money printer go per and we press connect and as you can see the password still works it's not secure i will change the the view here for better clarity and you can see that the application can be accessed with the with the default password so why the changes didn't didn't apply we will we'll do that right now for that we need to uninstall and reinstall tuner hub and then we can verify that the password works so I will log out of Thunderhub, I will go back to Umbra and then I will select apps in the left menu and we can see that the app is here and if you click on edit you can uninstall the application and we will say yes to that it will take a few seconds while you uninstall the application and then uh, we will go back to the app store and here we go look for Thunderhub app and then we click on it and we install it one more time and pay attention I will copy one more time the money printer go bird which is the default password the insecure password I will copy that and then once Thunderhub is complete uh, completely installed we're going to try to log in using this password we should get an error because the password now should be updated after reinstalling the application it's a little bit bothersome but that is the workaround we have until we have for now until the developers of Thunderhub give us the option to change the password in, a, in, a, in the application itself so um, let's give it a few more seconds here while it's installing and again what we're going to be doing is we install, which we didn't reinstall to the hub, and then we will verify that we can log in. So it's still taking a few more seconds here. Maybe because I have this window open, probably. We'll see. This may take a few minutes. Wow. Okay. No 
normally it's pretty fast. So let's check a little bit more. Again, the reason why um, I'm demonstrating this is because um, I received this Twitter, uh, this tweet from someone saying that there was a vulnerability in Thunder Hub um, that will will allow bad actors to drain your funds. I honestly don't don't see that happening because we we do use a private uh, onion address for to log in to your to your node remotely and the only way a bad actor could log in is if, he, if they know your your onion address which is a very very long complex address and also they know the password to your umbrella device which is different from the password of the application of uh, Thunderhub. Um, I will refresh the screen here because there is definitely something oh okay so it took it took a pretty long time uh, it looks like it's a starting here so should be starting soon and uh, what we will do is we will again we will test uh, money printer go burn to see if he, if he can be um, if, if he allows to log in to the, to the application wow this is really taking a long time again this is a new a brand new uh, node and uh, probably that's why uh, let's let's click in open and this will take us to the thunder hub application uh, again I will click on login and keep in mind that I am using the default password. I'll copy here one more time and then I will paste it here. And when we press connect, we will see that the wrong password was provided. This is the default password and now we now it would it should take the password that we changed before, which is Thunder Hub one two three four five, and if we press connect, this should let us in with a new uh, secure password. So it's thinking. Okay, and we're in. So um, that that is what I wanted to demonstrate. This will secure your. Thunderhub application uh, a bit more until the developers come up with the option for us to change the password and maybe add uh, two-factor authentication as well. Thank you for watching and until the next video.